Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to be making some items for my fairy house. I am obsessed now with miniatures. Um, so I want to make a bathroom for my fairy house. And I'm going to show you what I have. I have this beautiful shell that I'm going to use as the bathtub. Then I'm going to need to put it like a spigot on here and two little knobs. This, I believe, was $5. I have all these little shells. I got them in a bag at the Dollar Tree. So that's going to be my sink, part of my sink. I have these gems, I guess you would call it, bead, beads, jewelry, beaded jewelry. I got them for $6.99 at AC Moore. Where I live, the AC Moore store has closed, which totally bums me out. Now we just have Michaels. So, I'm going to use some of these beads to get the effect I'm looking for on my tub. And I'm going to need smaller beads for whatever shell I use for the sink. I also have poster board that I have used before. It's drawn on and it's been painted. I'm going to use this to as part of the sink area and possibly like a little shelf or something I'm gonna paint it again anyway so let's get started with what we were do what we are doing I'm thinking I might get some pearls and put them on the bottom here but we're gonna get started right now with my tub <clears throat> so, I have these beads. I need to cut off the end, which is not as easy as you would. I don't want them shooting all over. So, there we go. So, now they are undone. Here they are. Of course, I dropped some. So, I'm going to take don't know which one I want to use. I'm thinking this one because it's kind of iridescent but I don't know as my spigot for my tub. Maybe I'll use this one. So I'm thinking for my little spigot thing to do it, put it this way. Oh yeah. So I'm going to glue it into here just like this so it can run down into my tub. So, going to take a little bit of hot glue and put some right in here. This is the easiest part of the whole bathroom, the tub. And when I saw the shell, I was like, that would be awesome. So, here is my spigot. The spigot's done. Now, I need handles. Well, you know, to turn on the taps. Not sure if I'm going to use any of the same beads, but let me check. I'm trying to find maybe two of the same that are not huge of the beads. And I'm not finding two of the same, which is kind of a bummer. But I have found on this, this little gold piece that I think I want to glue onto my spigot right here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little piece on here. And then I'm going to go look in my stash of beads. Because I don't have two of the same beads to make the faucet um, the hot and cold. So I'm going to go look for that. And then I'll be back. What I did here was I took my tweezers. And I put two little gems here, and then I did one on top of the other with a little gem here for the sink. So this is what these two items look like, the sink and the tub. So I have foam board, like I had told you, and I want to make, um, hold on a second, okay, I want to make a little cabinet for the bathroom and I want the door to open 
to the cabinet. So I'm thinking about thinking four inches. I need a pen. Of course, I don't have a pen right now. So I'm thinking four inches. Found my pen. It's right here. So four inches. Okay. And I'm going to say it's four inches long and one and a half wide. So this is going to be the side of my cabinet. So it's going to be four inches long, like I said, with by two inches. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do, well, one and a half inches. So I'm going to draw one and a half inches right here. And then I'm going to go straight up because these are going to be the two sides. And then this is going to be four inches tall. And then I'm going to cut these out. So these are going to be the sides of my cabinet. Okay, well, there you go. And then I'm going to cut down the middle as straight as possible. Then I'm going to put them on top of each other to make sure they're the same and they're pretty much the same. So these are going to be the sides. I think that's a little too tall. I'm going to have to go get Isabella and see if it's too tall because it might be too tall for her, you know, to wash her hands. I believe it is too tall, um, but I wanted to go get her to make sure that I do the right height. So I'll be right back. Isabella's about five and a half inches tall with her little hair. So a sink being four inches tall would be just crazy. So I'm going to cut it down to about three inches and then recheck. Because I don't want to cut too much because you can't get that back. So, let's see, I'm thinking maybe three and a quarter, let's try three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to cut this right here, stand it next to little Gabrielle, I mean Isabella. Uh, I think that's okay. So. I could probably go three inches. Maybe I'll go three inches instead of three and a half. Let me check. I'm going to go three and three inches total. So I'm going to cut off the little bit of extra. So I'm going to go three inches total on the sides. So let me measure that. And I'm going to cut this straight across. And then I'm going to put this on top of this. And cut this straight across. This seems a little wide. I'm going to cut down here. And just make sure that it's not real wide on the one and not the other. Okay. So these are the sides of our sink, right here and here. And this is three inches tall. Now we're going to need the back, and we're also going to need the front. So let me see my shell. 
because I want to be able to put my shell in there. So, I want the cabinet big enough for my shell, maybe a little bigger. So, let me measure that. Let's see. So, I'm going to go with two inches across. Maybe two and a half across. And then one and a half thick. So, two and a half inches across. Excuse me, Isabella. So two and a half inches across. Maybe I'll do it this way it might be better. Because then I'm just cutting. It's my genius at work. I apologize. So there's that. So that's gonna be that, and I want it about this wide so right to about here so I'm going to cut this and then cut this so I'm going to show you what this looks like so far, I think I can put it together somewhat. It's a little too thick, so I have to cut that down a little bit. It's too thick. I have it way too thick. And the cool thing is you can measure it with your other styrofoam pieces. So I have the two sides and then the top. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And then I'm going to put my top piece right here. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't be putting the top piece on right now because I need to put the shell on the inside. So I have to go get my box cutter or my little exacto knife because I need to put a hole in here so that my shell can fit in here and I think if I stand it up and try and do it that way it is not going to pan out so I'm just going to leave it just like this I'm going to go get my exacto knife and I'm going to make a cut so that I have an area for my shell as usual I changed my mind I did cut um, into it and you could see down here you could see down to the ground I didn't like that so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to glue these pieces together and work on the cabinet as is and put the the shell right on top of the for the love of Pete this piece the top cabinet the top of it this is not even at all which is totally bumming me out so I am going to have to cut this better I'm going to use my box cutter my exacto knives I don't know where they are oh my lanta maybe it's this side let me check Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. I think it's just down here a bit. Just like that. And then right here. There, that's much better. Okay, so here's the one side. I'm gonna put hot glue on the top. Then I'm going to take the top piece and put that right here just like that again apologize for the cat he's deaf he's calling his brother there's no way to stop him because he can't hear 
So that kind of stinks. And see how hot that hot glue is? It's bubbling. I burned myself earlier today. Yowza. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then I'm going to get my other piece for the other side. And I'm going to put some hot glue on that. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And I'm going to put this right here. And here's my two pieces for the sink so far. And yes, it's hot and sticking to my hand, of course. So here's the other piece. So this is just the framing, <clears throat> excuse me, of my sink. Now I'm going to take Isabella, my little love. She is standing up. And stand her here. Uh, I think that's pretty good because her hands are here. So I think that's a pretty good size. Maybe a little smaller. So I'm going to reinforce right here. And right here. Because this is going to be painted. And I'm just going to hold this for a couple seconds and I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter because I think it's too tall because the sink is down lower okay so here it is so far I'm going to take a little bit off maybe like a half an inch not even a half inch. Let me make sure that's even. I believe it is even. Okay, now I'm going to take more of the foam board and I'm going to put enough, I'm going to cut enough so that I have enough to cover the back. So, I'm going to put it right there, turn it around, line that up right there, right like that, and draw a line. And then a line on the other side. So this is going to be the back. So I'm going to cut the foam board for the back of, oh my goodness, for the back of my sink. Just like this. So I'm going to glue this down right on the edges right on the edges be careful not to burn yourself I suggest if you're buying hot glue guns these big ones can burn you so bad so bad really bad no joke I, I get tired of being burned so here it is so far now I'm going to reinforce in here with more hot glue. So here it is so far. So this is the top of the cabinet. I'm not going to put the shell in there right now because I want to distress it and everything and I am going to make a floor for this so that I can have the cabinets open and shut and I'm going to add a shelf in here also so basically I'm going to take my my words I'm going to take my little shelf and I'm going to make the front part, I'm going to trace this out first. 
if you're hearing screaming, it's the kids in the neighborhood. It's snowing where I live. And um, they're so excited. They're out there playing. My kids are too old to be out there playing. I miss those days when my children would go sledding. I could go take them sledding. That was when I was cool. I was the cool mom then. Now I'm not cool, according to my children. So here is what it looks like right now. This is going to be the front of the cabinet. It's too long, which I'm going to have to cut that, but I want to measure it and mark it in the middle so that I can have two doors. I don't understand how I misplace everything while I'm, I, I haven't moved from this spot. And I honestly don't know where my roll... Oh, it blended into the background. <gasps> okay, so this is a little long. So I am going to put it this way for right now and turn it over since it's long and I'm going to trace this right over here to where I have to cut it and then down here which I will use my roller that I couldn't find and it was right here to go straight across right like that and I'm going to cut this and then once I realize or figure out that it's even straight and everything to go on here which it seems like it is now I'm going to measure it with my roller and it is three and like a quarter inches long. So I'm thinking, not even a quarter, I'm sorry. Three and like three lines long. So, I'm thinking right about here it might be the middle. I'm going to draw a line down here. Oh, my Atlanta. I'm going to draw a line. If I could do a straight line, that would be outstanding. So, I'm going to cut this. Straighten it out a bit. See if this is the same size as this. It is not. So we will have to do another one. But I'm not going to waste this piece that's not big enough. I am going to glue this to the bottom of my cabinet. So glue here. Glue here. Here. I don't have a lot of glue coming out because I need another glue stick which in turn will make it so that it comes out way too fast so glue 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 and this will be the bottom of the cabinet now anything that's hanging over or bothers you in any way just cut it off just cut it off I might need a little bit more there. So here is the one cabinet piece. And then I'm going to measure out the exact same as this to do the other side. So I'm going to cut this. Okay, so here's my foam. And here's my cabinet, right like this. This one's a little too long because I want to make it so that the cabinet opens. And I also need a drawer in here, so I have to figure that out too. But I believe if 
that one's there and it opens this one's too long so let me turn these over probably would have been a faster video if I videotaped this I mean if I pre-cut everything before I started this so I'm going to cut this and then I need enough awesome so that's pretty much good pretty much good is that a word this is not long enough right here um, but I'm okay with that because I'm thinking I will leave this cabinet part shut this still looks like crap I think I have to fix that because if you see there's a big gap right here I don't like that so I gotta fix that so I'm gonna work on that and come right back back to our cabinet I had taken a toothpick and I cut it and I have tiny pieces right here four of them and I have my two doors and I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to put a hole right here in the bottom of my cabinet right here okay so I am going to put my toothpick the one I cut in said hole oh my goodness okay I need a pointy one I need a pointy piece so I'm going to put this piece right here okay right here my big hands are in your way then I'm going to take the door and I'm going to pull this back through here for right now so it's sticking out here put the door right here and then push this through the bottom not as easy as you would think so you want to push the toothpick which is pointy through the other piece of foam so I'm going to use a pill bottle because I don't want to smash my little fingers and put it through oh my lanta all right, so I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put the pointy side in first, just like this. And then here's the door, and it's easier with the pointy side, okay? So there's one, so that'll help it open, and then I need one for the top. So I'm going to take the other toothpick, a taller one, a longer one, and put it through just like that. Then I'm going to get my scissors or a cutter. And there goes the toothpick. So, here's the door. And it opens. Just like that. How awesome is that? I'm going to secure it with some glue. The toothpicks. And I'm going to do the other door. And I'll be back. So while the hot glue is drying on my cabinet, I am I had these really pretty beads, and I'd like my tub to be up a little bit elevated. So I am going to hot glue these beautiful beads onto the shell. So here we go. We'll see if this works out. See where the other one should be. I'm thinking right about. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to put these in the same on the same line down, 
and hopefully this will pan out. I don't know. We will see. So, I think, like I said, I probably said before, dollhouse is, I think it's the extra, the attention to detail that makes dollhouses absolutely wonderful. Another thing about dollhouses is you can have them any way you want. So, there you go. So, it has the little legs on the bottom. Okay? Now, the cabinet for the sink, here it is. Here is... I might have to trim that a little bit because I think it's too close to this to open and close. But see how that works? So I'm going to trim a little bit off of here because I believe it's hitting the shelf. So I need to find my box cutter and just get a little bit off. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of it off. All right, much better. All right, here it is. So then what I did was, I want this to look like wood, and I don't know if you can see the lines. I took a toothpick, and I am going to put lines in my cabinet, because I'd like it to look like wood. So basically, that is what I am doing. And I have several different colors of brown paint. I have nutmeg. Huh. Golden brown. And truffle. And I'm going to paint this cabinet before I put on the handles and before I put the sink on here. So I had put lines in all the sides and I'm going to paint it and come back and show you what it looks like. This is what the cabinet looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has definition from the lines I made. And I did different color paints. And the cabinet shuts. So I am going to... My goodness, it won't shut. Come all the way. There we go. It shut. So, I am going to... As you can see, I have brown paint all over my hand. I am going to take our shell. Let's see what the better side for our shell is. Is it this side or this side? And I painted the back. I wanted the whole thing painted. Hmm. Kind of leans back some, but here. I'm going to put it on this side. I even like how the paint is. So I'm going to put some hot glue a lot of it on here and here's our sink so I'm going to give that a couple minutes to dry and I'm going to find my little teeny tiny seashells wherever those little bad boys are and I want to put little seashells for my cabinet doors to open and close them and this will be done. Of course, gotta find my seashells, which, to tell you the goddamnest truth, I have no bloody idea what I have done with them. So I'll find that later. But this is done, and I'm going to embellish. I want to open this right now. Embellish any way I want and I'm going to put some towels and stuff in the cabinet but we have the sink and the cabinet done so you can put a button whatever you want on here as your handle okay so that's done your tub's done pretty snazzy now anybody who's pretty much about my age um, we used to have these straight pins and they were stick pins and you would put it on your outfit and it would have like your initial or something on it. So I have this. I also have this button. So what I'm going to do is put some hot glue 
in the middle of my button, take my straight pin, stick pin, whatever you want to call it, and put it right in the middle between all of the openings of the button. And I'm going to hold it for a couple minutes so that it gets firm. So it's not dry yet, but just wanted to let you see. So I have it in the middle and I'm just going to let that be. So basically what I am going to make is a towel rack. So I have the straight pin, the button on the bottom. Put some more glue on that because I want this secure. And I then have a circular earring that I've had that I've never worn and it used to have like a butterfly or something hanging off of it so here's what m the bottom looks like and the top is still not secure because you want it straight up and down and I don't want to put anything on it until this is secure and as you can see the glue is tacky So I'm waiting for that to get secure. So I'm going to just leave that right there while it stands up. And I was thinking of making a little shelf or um, actually a little shelf that I can put next to near the tub or maybe near. I need a mirror. Mirror. Mi I can't even say it. A mirror. To go above this, I have so many, I just need to find them. I'm not going to waste money going and buying one, but by the time I get this dollhouse starting to be put together, I will have my mirror. Okay? So here is our towel holder. Then I want to take this little itty bitty earring and I want to put it kind of like on a slant and I want to hold it so that it will stay here and I can put a little towel through the loop so I want this to be a towel holder oh my goodness this is falling all over okay so I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here just a little bit take and put it here and I want it on a bit of a slant so that the towel can fit through here and hang. So that's what it looks like. That's my little towel holder. I'm going to add some flowers and items around my little towel holder. This is not, oh my goodness, not perfectly done yet. Don't believe I held it long enough. But it fell off my little ring, my earring. So we're going to try that again. This time I'm going to use tweezers because I really don't want to burn myself. So just like that. I want it up a little bit. Okay, so this will be embellished, but this will have a little towel hanging off of it next to the sink or, you know, wherever. See how it's right next to my sink here? And then I have my tub. So I'm going to make a little rack of shelves or whatever for my bathroom. So I'm not making a toilet. I don't know how to make a toilet. And in my little deranged mind, fairies don't need to go potty because they're fairies. And I don't want a toilet in my bathroom. So if I was going to sell my tree, I would definitely make a toilet. But I honestly, at this point in time, do not know how to make a toilet. And I'm not going to lie and pretend I do. So, so far for your bathroom, my bathroom, I have the sink. 
I have the little towel holder and the tub and I need to put handles on here but functioning which is kind of awesome so I'm thinking you might want some different items on the side of your sink I'm going to show you find my items I don't know um, I'll get back to that because I wanted to show you how to make um, different like bottles for perfume, makeup, whatever. But I do have these stickers that are pretty, not stickers, paper cutouts that I got from Michaels and it's called Field Notes and it's from Jim Holtz Ideologically Ideal Yeah, mm hmm Ideal Ideal Yeah, never mind So, with the stickers I took out certain ones that I thought were pretty and all and they're not stickers I don't know why I keep telling you they're stickers but I am going to put some around my cabinet. If it doesn't fit, then I'm not going to do it. But I think this is pretty. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put some moss and different things and maybe some gems. Put these little mushrooms on the other side. They're cute little mushrooms. Let me show you if I can pick them up off the table. Here you go. How cute are they? So, they're going to go over here. The other ones are is going to go on the other side. And, you know, j just put whatever you want on your new cabinet you made for your bathroom. And I'm going to cut some fabric down with that and put some in here in my cabinet which is kind of awesome so that's what I'm doing right now I am just pizzazzing up my little cabinet and making stuff for my bathroom it could be used for any bathroom so it could be any colors you want so that's the cool thing once you know how to do this you can make cabinets sorry about that cabinets for anything and oops so now you know so you can make a cabinet a refrigerator whatever now you have an idea of how to do the doors and how they open that's pretty cool and that's about it so I am going to work on this and work on embellishing this and I'll come back and show it to you and then I gotta think about other things to make for a bathroom and I'm thinking a shelf or a couple shelves and I'll come back and show you how to do that so here's what we finished I finished I got the tub with the four little gems on the bottom the faucet awesome that's a tub here's a towel rack I wanted to hide where the glue was so I put some flowers on it towel rack here is our cabinet for the sink and I put little seashells and some stuff on it and here's the towels so for the towels what I did was I have these dish drying mats that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut some of it and then what I do is either way I fold it around put some hot glue on it hold on one moment and that makes my towel open your cabinet and just put your towel inside your cabinet 
anywhere you'd like. So, I want my towels not to look all jammed up. So there you go. So I have several different towels, or whatever you want to call it, right in the cabinet. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!